Now let's see how to add the smart art because uh, the smart arts can be quite useful. Let's open a new presentation type. Once again, let's use the wonderful templates we have here from the new uh, menu. I, I choose something simple this time and I want to insert the smart art basically I'll go here in the insert menu and I have the smart art what's a smart art first of all smart art is a way as you see here when you put the mouse over uh, the, the the button you see smart art it's a, a graphic that basically uh, displays information in a graphic way easy to understand and that looks professional let's see how how to do that and how it works first of all you have a lot of options you have a smart art that uh, that's a list you can use three items in a list and put them in a graphic process you you have a smart art that's a process maybe you want to illustrate a process uh, maybe you want uh, to use the circle the hierarchy the relationship or any other any other type of smart art i will choose the process because it's uh, interesting to see how it works. Let's use, for example, a smart art, something simple like this one on the screen. Here you have it. And now I have it on my screen. Uh, for example, I, I uh, let's see how to, to do a smart art, something about recording uh, a course on Udemy. Okay, first of all, what do you do? Do you, you do the research? After that, you, you prepare. And after that, you what do you do? You record. You do much more. It's not that. And but anyway, I will stay with this one. Uh, and here I can do some explanation, explanations. What I do in each phase, in each uh, step of the process. So basically, I will uh, write here, and I will choose this way. And you can add different information about your process now it looks this way but i will delete right now these two elements this and this because i want them to disappear and right now i have my smart art on the screen so it's a process my process is research prepare uh, prepare and record now i still change the smart art as you see right now i have the smart art tools and i have two new ribbons as usual the design and the format let's see the most important elements i won't get into all the details you can check and uh, see what helps you but the most important elements i have here first of all i can change the layout you see i can change the type of smart art and play with it see what helps you what's what suits better for whatever you need to uh, to create you see i will see the print uh, on the screen on, uh, the the display now i can change the smart art style i have different styles i don't like this too complicated for me but i can change the style i can change the colors here i have them now these are nice I like them because the background is darker i would use in this case something more brighter so that that i have more contrast maybe this one i uh add, i can add shapes bullets i can add uh, a text pen and in the format ribbon i have the usual <laughs> too many options once again in my opinion the usual too many options to format my smart art and to uh, add a style for example like here to hmm, in this case I, I change the style just for the, the first the research to change the shape if you want uh, for example let's choose this shape see I change the shape it's not the best one let's undo uh, you can change the field the outline you can add effects you can add styles to your world art and you have a lot a lot of options so basically smart arts are a way to display in a graphic way a process or uh, some information so that people will see it and will see the connection and the relationships between uh, the different elements of your process of whatever you are saying and they are quite useful to use them to illustrate whatever you are saying.